Today we're exploring the partner planeswalkers Jessica Thrice Reborn and Tevesh Zat Doom of Fools in Oathbreaker. Jessica costs two and a red, and it enters the battlefield with loyalty counter on it for each time you've cast a commander from the command zone this game. Zero, choose target creature. Until your next turn, if that creature would deal combat damage to one of your opponents, it deals triple that damage to that player instead. Minus X, Jessica deals X damage to each of up to three targets. Tevesh costs four and a black and starts at four loyalty. Plus two, create two zero one black thrall creature tokens. Plus one, you may sacrifice another creature or planeswalker. If you do draw two cards, then draw another card if the sacrifice permanent was a commander. Minus ten, gain control of all commanders. Put all commanders from the command zone onto the battlefield under your control. And to be clear, in Oathbreaker, the word commander is replaced with Oathbreaker, so this does work. This is one of the only two partner pairings we have in the format, and in my opinion, this is definitely the better of the two. So, here's how this works in Oathbreaker. They're both in the command zone, and you get two signature spells, one for each of them. Jessica's has to be red, it can't be black, and Trevesh has to be black, it can't be red, or black-red for that matter. And you can only cast their signature spell if their respective planeswalker is out. Now the crazy thing about this is you kind of have a starting hand of 11. You've got the seven cards in your hand, plus the two planeswalkers, plus the two signature spells to start the game. And that is pretty incredible. I think it kind of balances out by neither of these being incredibly good, but they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I like them. I've never built a partner deck in Oathbreaker, but I've built several of them in Commander. And in Commander, my experience is you really want to focus on one to build the deck around, and the second one to kind of support it. You can do what you want, but I would at least consider that. Now let's talk about some signature spell options, starting with the most popular signature spell options. As a set of four, the most popular deck had Tevesh with Deadly Rollick. If you control a commander, you may cast the spell without paying its mana cost, Exile Target Creature. With Jeska and Deflecting Swat, if you control a commander, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. You may choose new targets for target spell or ability. This kind of solves the 11 card starting hand problem, where you're probably not going to be able to cast both your Planeswalkers and both your signature spells every game. The other signature spell that rose to the top was Jeska's Will, a sorcery for three. Choose one. If you control a commander as you cast the spell, you may choose both. Add red for each card in target opponent's hand. Exile the top three cards of your library. You may play them this turn. This is already one of the most used signature spells in the format, so considering this is a Jeska deck, Jeska's Will is bound to be on top. I guess I'll mention Zat's Will here too, an instant for five. Choose one. If you control a commander as you cast the spell, you may choose both. Each opponent sacrifices a creature they control with the greatest power. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards, then create X-01 Black Thrall creature tokens where X has the greatest power among creatures exiled this way. This actually seems pretty good, and it's obviously flavorful, but it's not really being used very much. Okay, we're going to focus separately on each Planeswalker from here on out to see what synergizes best with them. I think the best way to synergize with Jessica is to find something that works with that zero ability, the triple combat damage ability. We've got some low mana options for boosting power. If we can get the creature we target with this to hit, it's kind of like the signature spell is dealing 9 damage to that player. Or how about Mishra's Command, a sorcery for X red. Choose two. Choose target player. They may discard up to X cards. Then they draw a card for each card discarded this way. The spell deals X damage to target creature. The spell deals X damage to target planeswalker. Target creature gets plus X plus O and gains haste until end of turn. So in respect to Jessica, that last one is what we're interested in. But we can also kill a planeswalker with it, or a creature if we need to. Unleash Fury doubles the power of target creature till end of turn. If we've got some beefy creatures, maybe this is better than just giving it plus attack. Another generically good option is Gamble, a sorcery for red. Search your library for a card, put it into your hand, discard a card at random. Moving on to Tevesh Zat, tutors are popular here too. Especially Demonic Tutor, which does not cause you to discard cards at random. A sacrifice theme could be good because he makes two zero ones for his plus two ability. So maybe Bone Shards to destroy a target creature or Planeswalker, or Village Rites, which draws us two cards, similar to Plum the Forbidden, which also draws us cards. Culling the Weak adds black, 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 black. Similarly, a signature spell with Convoke might work. Pylon destroys target creature or Planeswalker, Surveil 2. And Lethal Scheme destroys target creature or Planeswalker. Each creature that Convoked Lethal Scheme convenes. Or I guess Collective Nightmare, target creature gets minus three, minus three. One of the neat things about Convoke spells is you can Convoke away the command tax on these signature spells too. 
If we wanted to focus on getting to Tevesh's ultimate, the Elder Spell can't be beat. For black black, destroy any number of target planeswalkers. Choose a planeswalker you control. Put two loyalty counters on it for each planeswalker destroyed this way. An honorable mention to settle the score for four mana. Exile target creature, put two loyalty counters on a planeswalker you control. We could also do it with proliferate spells like Whisper of the Dross or Drown in Icker, although these are all going to be a lot worse than the Elder Spell, which is just killer. A surprising number of decks are trying to pull off like a cross planeswalker synergy thing where if you want to cast the black signature spell, you really want the red planeswalker out and vice versa. I do not think that's a very good idea. For example, decks using like a red threaten effect to steal an opponent's creature and then use Tevesh to sacrifice it. I think that's asking too much. You can't guarantee having both your planeswalkers out. I think the deck's just not going to do what you want it to do most of the time. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and check out my channel for plenty more videos like this, matching planeswalkers to signature spells. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.